how to add a user to your stripe account hey everyone welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i'll show you step by step how to pretty much invite a team member with your stripe and have them be able to access a few stuff in your stripe this way they're going to help you manage your stripe account and so on now obviously you won't give them full permission you will have the control full power on what you actually want to give them when it comes to permission even if you actually want them to become an admin and have pretty much all the power it's completely up to you so how do we do so it's very simple you just want to go ahead and open up your stripe.com and just go to the main dashboard now for me this is all going to be within the test mode uh, and if it's also for you in test mode then you know, you know most likely than not uh, things are not going to be final they're, they're not going to be fully uh, done yet so make sure you activate your account and turn off test mode before you do anything uh, in this video now that that's out of the way all we need to do is just go ahead and go to the settings option from the top right click on settings and just click on settings one more time now once you do that you should find yourself uh, in this page where you will find business settings and this is the one that we want and you will find team and security so this is the one that we wanted to click on so just go and click on team and security and then just go ahead and stay on the team tab and then from here you will fee you'll be able to see all the different members for some reason i can't even highlight them so you'll see all the different members that are available in this team so all you need to do is just go ahead and give uh this little button here a click which is the new member button so just go ahead and click on that and then here you would be able to add them so the first thing is going to be inviting them by email so you would want to add their email right here so uh, in my case i'm just going to go for this one i'm not even going to invite them but this is just an example here and then we can just go ahead and see the different roles that you want to give uh, permission to that person so for example admin roles uh, if you want to give, to give them pretty much you know administrator so they're going to be pretty much accessing the entire thing um, or you know you have more stuff here as well so you can actually read more about each and every single role here so just go ahead and highlight the different roles that you want to apply to that specific person so for example for developer uh, roles you can just go ahead and click on this one uh, if it's analyst dispute analyst you know you get the idea so just go ahead and select whichever role you think is going to suit that person best and if you for example select the support specialist then they will only have access to this role they won't be able to do more than that because they don't have permission to so don't worry about it too much um, and even later on if you want to remove them you can also have the complete power to do so so just go and select the different roles that you want and click on send invite uh, once that's done you they will pretty much get um, an email with a link and they'll be able to accept it uh, from there but this is pretty much all you need to do from your side uh, and yeah this is pretty much all for this video hopefully you found it to be helpful and thanks for watching